people, life gets complicated. What makes it different? What makes it harder? What makes it easier? Well, today, we want to look at this from a number of different perspectives. If you were after something all your life, whoops, and somebody were to get it and to hold on to it and say, here, if you do what I tell you, I'll give you your prize. What would you do? So, hi right, guys. It's in the afternoon. Much is happening. Even though it looks like nothing. Chickens are running around. Dog is playing chase. And in the world of my fictional story about the United States and how we went through all this period of time, it's a fictional story, mind you, about how they try to silence everybody, how they try to censor them in these critical times when it's much, much more important that we all get to talk, to communicate, to find peace amongst us. I say we, that would be the W-I-I of it, not the W-E-We um, in Congress or the W-E-We in China. There's different we's. What's a we if it's a government? Well, that's a different we too. Is it the people or is it the government? Well, today the question is... I'm not sure how we figure it out. But I do know that if that toy is always there, and no matter what, your first instinct is to get it. And then you got it. What are you gonna do with it? It's your toy. What's that mean? Well, in part, it's what you have that can be used to make you do what somebody wants you to do. Now, he has that toy. Is he making me do what he wants me to do with the toy, which is to grab it and throw it? Or am I going to make him do what I want him to do by being patient and then using the toy? Is he, is he focused? Now, if you, the public, are wanting your toy, $2,000 check. Rocky, watch. This is a $2,000 check. Woo! He will climb a mountain, a cliff, to get that. Now, sometimes he goes over cactus. Sometimes he goes over thorns. Sometimes he's not being very smart about it. But other times, he teaches me how to do it. Now, this is kind of pretty down here. This is a walk. You notice much less noise. Oh boy. He doesn't take long. Now, you know I hate to be political. Hey Tina, how you doing? I really hate to be political. It, but in my book, there's always these politics keep coming up. Now, if you had politics... And you had to deal with it. Oh, let's see if we can accomplish this. Come here. Okay. Watch. It's going to be all the way over there now. Let's see if we can get there without getting wet. Oh, shucks. That means he's going to go in the water. Oh, he doesn't want to. Up. Poof. Off to the other side. Over. Poof. Now, there are people that will do anything to get that toy, just like that dog. There's a pelogi dog. Can be female or male, doesn't be a male dog. I hear there's a pelogi dog, just chomping at the bit for blood. Wonder, just do anything. There's all sorts kind of dogs. Oh boy, look at that, you can't see me because it's light. And it's not sunlight, there's clouds. Now in this world of wibbly and wub, what I understand right now is that we got a problem. You see in that story, 
I got to this kind of an impasse. And as I'm writing it, and I'm looking for answers, you know, and I, I'm trying to figure out what. Oh, this is a, you get kayak up here, by the way. This is part of my kayak bayous, I mean. What on earth causes people to want to create so much hate, so much divisiveness? By lying and saying they're in a bathroom, being attacked in a building when, you know, in fact, they weren't even in. Uh, how about they no facts to that? In the story I'm writing, there's this, 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 this crazy woman that does this just for a character. You have to have archetypes. What's an archetype? Somebody wants attention so bad, they'll pretend whatever it takes to get your attention. There are people like that in the world. I use them as what I call archetypes. See, writers have archetypes. How do you get an archetype? For example, a lying, cheating person that just takes advantage of everybody um, at any expense to anybody else, including his own family, to get ahead or her family. Well, that's a rotten, cheating, just absolutely horrific archetype. Now, you can put different names on a person or archetype. You can call them ALC. You can call them all sorts of things that, that would fit that archetype. And it wouldn't necessarily be that person. It's just an archetype that they fit into very well. You know, in the book, there's names like Pelogi and, and such. And, and they're those kind of archetypes. Okay. And they would take and throw your toy to places that you would go to war to get it. You would send your son to war to get their toys, which they're doing. Did you know we went back into Syria? Did you know that Russia's getting real upset with us? Even though we got supposed to be a new thing signed. Did you know China? they kind of taking advantage of the situation a little bit with Taiwan. In that book I'm writing, that is. Not in reality. Now, don't you all think for a second I'm out there trying to bug those sensors talking about reality? Oh, no. How do you know? I'm just wandering over here, babbling about stuff that's not true in a book I'm going to write in the future. And did. And do. And will. Hmm. How do you separate that? What is the future? What is the past? How do you tell it? The past can be a lot of things, can it, A.O.? Whatever. But I'm not talking about facts. I'm talking about fantasy. Kind of like we're living these days. So, let's just suppose that that Burma, that country over there where they had an election fraud and they just went back a year and changed later and took that president out. And the military's going to kind of hold peace for maybe a year while everything's worked out. That way China won't be given such a great deal on everything like that woman who was in charge seemed to be doing ever since that false election in the story I'm writing, of course. Not the real thing. That's the ship of savage dreams again. So, as we watch in my story how this next chapter develops, I do want to tell you, this writing is taking a lot of time, man. I'm not getting a lot of work done. Putting it up on YouTube. And I say writing. Well, as you're reading this, as you're looking at it, as you're watching what's happening, you're becoming part of my book. I mean, the outcome of some of these things that are going on right now, you know what? I already wrote about. The next trick is, will it turn out the way it did in that book years from now? I'm telling you, there is no telling what the future brings, is there? Unless we all get involved. We. W-I-I. -I. You know that we. That's the we that Darby talks about. 
where a world union of beings gets together and decides, hey, wait a minute. That is not the truth. We don't want to live in a lie. We don't live in a fantasy book that some dude, some crazy dude wrote. No, we want to live in a reality where we got to vote. Not what he wrote. Or what some computer overseas wrote. For a number. The number of votes. Now, if you got 97% or 80% rejection rate on votes, saying, yo, we got to send it over and have that checked out so you send it overseas, in an imaginary world. Oh, you know what? I, I was inspired on this imaginary world. Um, yeah, Lynn Wood and some of the others. Some of the stuff they talk about. Yeah. I wrote about that years ago. But, we believe that kind of crap. That's why it's fantasy. So, I'm going to go in here. This is, whoops, I can't let you see the code. This is the Vicky one, and I'm going to turn the heat on. Why? Because somebody, some troll, sent cold down here. I see another car, too. Just a second. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm going to let you come in a second. This is Vicky one. I lived in here years ago. Let's see if you look at that. This was the um, second house. Uh, second house. Diary built years ago. 2007? Wow. So, what happened back then is that he, he went ahead and made this thing. And then it was supposed to be sold. Well, five days before the grand opening, a storm came through. A tornado came through. And the tornado, five days before the grand opening, for the first tiny house is ever to be shown to the public. Not that there's a big crowd that's going to show up, because back then nobody even thought that was a cool idea. Except me. So I had five, six, seven of them sitting out there, and the tornado came through five days before my grand opening, and guess what? This one went up in the air, and that roof came off, that side of the roof came off, the porch came off because it landed on its side, just like I just made you do. Oh. So that was one of the houses. Out of seven houses, five of them were not anywhere near close to where they were the night before, and then the security camera took about two minutes between the scans on the security camera. It went around, everything looked cool, went around, and all you had was a bunch of cattywampus houses. Yeah. yeah. This is really nice, but some of the early lessons were like, that's a wall, this was shiplap on this side, and a stud in it, and shiplap on the other side, which means I got a wall this thick. Now, do I need a wall that thick for air? What's that air pocket good for? Nothing. So what am I gonna do with it? Uh, well, actually, nothing. That's the problem. Oh, you can't see anything on this. There's a window. That's uh, called a spider web bevel glass leaded. And that's so that we could go ahead and uh, light up behind the sink. Now, this was a very early basic, basic style. Because I thought, well, what do you got? You got a bathroom. And you're going to have a kitchen. And you're going to have a shower. And a commode. Can you see in there? These are the walls made out of the shingles off of roofs. Those are dents. Oops, can you see? Yeah, dents. From way back a hundred years of being on the wall, on the roof. And so that's one style. That's another style. And that's another style that kind of looks like, oh, hey, I forgot. I came with a light. There you go. This allows you to go ahead and use these shingles again. And then on the floor, I have a bunch of just remnant tile. So we did a project, a seminar to teach how to do this. And a young couple went in and laid the last of the tile there to make that happen. There's another little bit of splash. Um, there's an antique vanity we use. Because of course they'll need a lot in these. Ah! I guess we're not going to open that right this second because it's not with you sitting there watching me struggle. 
Okay. I brought you out here because I had to turn these heaters on. And I figured you wouldn't mind seeing. Oh, yeah. That's when the front porch got torn off and it was ripped over. That window got broken out, which used to look like one of these that I brought back from the border of Missouri and uh, Arkansas. And they were in a house. I saw the house being torn down. And I saw, hey, can I get those windows? They said, sure, how much? I gave them $30 each, but I had to take them out and then transport them. And so that's why you see that, that the line there. That's back when the glass was blown in large bubbles. And then the top and the bottom was cut off and cut on the side and split it out and laid it out. That's always cool. That's always fun. And then this I put in. It's just a single piece, but this is called carnival glass. And I put that in. This baby doll out there barking. She's protecting me. Uh, one more heater. Um, so this was a, a chance to see one of my houses from way, way back before Adam passed away. And I, I was not quite as creative. A lot of wasted space. Um, when I say wasted, this, for example, is the bed you get to sleep in. Now, I lived in this house for a year and a half. And the problem with this is when you try to make that bed, that doesn't look hard, but I want to say something. Okay, now I'm standing up. Now, don't I look comfy? Uh-huh. Yeah. You wonder why I started making my houses a little taller and maybe making that roof a little bit lower? Because frankly, um, that's as high as I can get. I don't know if you can see me. And I'm not standing up very tall. Anyway, this is how we get down. In the early days, I made these ladders. And the ladders, I had to start building them because the guys, these can go down frontwards or backwards. But I want to point something out. Another thing, design. Now, say I'm going, hey, hi, Shelly. Thank you. This is why you get stupid when you're beginning and you don't know what you're doing. I want you to notice this as this goes flying by me. Okay. These are fan blades. Do you see where my face is? Yeah. If I'm not careful, my smile will have some dust in it. Coming from these. Isn't that nice? Oops. Or oh, my hand will get hit. Coming in late. Oh, this is the big guy. Ah! Coming in late. <laughs> uh, this is the Vicky house. Yes. Vicky needs to know. Um, Vicky one is called Victorian because Vicky one. And then Vicky 2, everybody said, this is too small. This is too little. Nobody could live in a house this little. Well, you know what? I lived in it for a year and a half. But um, we stayed up there. I say we. I lived in here with, with a young lady, actually. A love story. Same one I talked about this morning, as a matter of fact. So we stayed in this place. And we had a bed upstairs and living room downstairs. And it made a very comfortable little house for a while. I highly recommend tiny houses. I'm not that recommend that lady anymore. Actually, she's not around. She committed suicide two years after my son passed away. Lying doesn't make you happy. This is the blue moon, not so blue anymore. A little bit of blue left up there. We're about to repaint it. Put in new siding. Oh, goody. He's got somebody to play with. Good. You got somebody to play with. Yeah. How y'all doing? Going out for a walk? You going for a walk? Okay. Make sure you get out before it gets dark. Yeah. All right. Some new people coming. They're staying in the kid for the night. Ah, one of my favorites. That's that $43 a pint. Ah, pint. Organic linseed oil paint from Sweden. And it sells for that much because you have to import it. Nobody will make it in the United States for some reason. Why? I have no clue. But it lasts for 43, maybe 50 years. You think that's got something to do with it? My back hurts from being bent over. Oh my goodness. When your back hurts like that, first get your feet, get your shoes off, get your feet on the ground. That helps reduce the amount of inflammation. And then, on top of that, I highly recommend turmeric. That's really good for lower back pain. I have an infrared pain light that you can put underneath your back. That's really good. I used to use that before I got rid of my back pain from having a broken back, which I still have. That's Vicky too. That's the bigger version. 
that has a bigger house, a bed downstairs, bigger bathroom, bigger kitchen. But that is 240 square feet. That is 67 square feet. Oops, yeah. Everybody likes that one better. And then lastly, on our little list of houses, as I walk around, I'm just going to let this show some people who have not been here. Some have been here. And uh, this is one of my favorites, of course. This is the Ginger Swan. And the Ginger Swan, that's 80 square feet. That's one-third the size of Vicky 2. And Vicky 1 was 170 square feet. And I assure you, this one is better, nicer, more fun. Does anybody want to go in here before I get done for the day? I was going to go ahead and get done. This is all gingerbreaded up. All the porches are on hinges. And so they actually fold down. And you can take the bottom off of it. And you can actually transport it, move it. And... That's going to be a bathroom, which I've failed to finish for a long time now. And up above, there's a gorgeous balcony. And from that balcony, you can see the ship of salvage dreams. That I built in 11 days on a whim with no nails. And... Uh, Oh, it's got some really cool glass. Let's see if I can get this right. And um, so anyway, I built some of these things because I had a statement I wanted to make. And by doing that, I was able to go ahead and construct something nobody else could make. That's what I like to do. Well, that's the highest point from here to the Gulf of Mexico. Shall we go inside for a second? Let's see. Okay. Can you all see? I'm going to try to make this possible. All right. I don't know if you can see this place very well. This is the kitchen. But that, that's the stairs. And what's fun about this is, look at this. Is that a drawer? Whoops. There you go. Watch. You can put a lot of groceries in there. You can fit a rifle underneath there. You can fit all sorts of things in there. Even some ammo in that secret little cubby hole behind there. What is this? Can you understand what that might be? That's a set of stairs. This is actually mesquite, but it forms a stair. And another one as you go up. And then you come up into a bedroom. This is grapevine. This was all put together with screws and then covered up. Oops. And this has got a hook up here, so you can actually hook up. There's a, uh, over there, a hammock. So besides the bed, beautiful setting, you also have out here. And this takes you out. Oops. That's going to be a ceremonial area, fireplace, fit fire pit. Pictures get taken a lot. We have that's the bridge over the over untroubled waters. I'm finishing up. There's the chickens. When everybody comes, it gets to hold a chicken if you've never done it. And some of the ponds that go all the way around. And eventually go down to the kayak trails. In other places. Okay. Hey, JC, welcome back. Tanya. What, this one here, Tanya? This is about um, 80 square feet downstairs. We'll have a bathroom out on the porch, on the deck. And so the upstairs is maybe 80 square feet. No, it's not even that much. We've got the stair taken out of it. So maybe 60. And this is one little air conditioner, cools you. One little tiny heater. Whoops. Heater will heat you. And then you can go outside. Or you can go down. Oh, that's the stairwell, by the way. Can you see this? There you go. So you go 
One, two, see that? You got a railing. See how this works, guys? Left, right, left, right. Just like you're walking down real stairs, except you don't go down all the way. That's one of the windows that lifts up. Bathroom out there. Bye. Beautiful pieces of glass. This has got pyramids in it, so that if you're looking through it, it gives you enough of a distortion that you really can't see well. But what it also does is, oops, expands the light oops, to the inside. I highly recommend these, don't it? But you gotta remember, oh, stop. Ah. Okay, so. If you ever want to get away, if you ever want to come and play, I highly recommend you stay at Salvage. So, that's my tune. Y'all enjoy yourself.